Hi everyone, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the 4% rule, which is the rule that will make you never run out of money for the rest of your life. Imagine spending your retirement time traveling, raising kids, doing all kinds of hobbies that you'd like to try, without ever worrying whether or not you will still have money to spend for tomorrow and beyond. Then I will show you how to do that in this video. I'll explain what the 4% rule is, how it works, and whether it still applies in the current economic environment. Let's dive in. The 4% rule is based on a study by financial planner William Bangen in 1994. He analyzed historical data on stock and bond returns from 1926 to 1976 and found that a retiree who withdrew 4% of their portfolio value in the first year of retirement and then adjusted that amount for inflation every year would have a very high chance of not running out of money for at least 30 years. This was true even during periods of severe market downturns such as the Great Depression and the stagflation of the 1970s. The 4% rule became widely adopted by financial advisors and retirement planners as a simple and safe way to determine how much money one could spend in retirement without depleting their savings. Before we dive in deeper, you need to calculate how much money you need to apply the 4% rule. Here are the steps. First, estimate your annual expenses in retirement. This is the amount of money you plan to spend on your living cost, such as mortgage, food, healthcare, travel, entertainment, hobbies, and so on. Second, multiply your annual expenses by 25. This is based on the inverse of the 4% rule. If you divide 100 by 4, you get 25. This means that you need 25 times your annual expenses to have enough money to last for at least 30 years in retirement. For example, if your annual expenses are $40,000, you need $40,000 times 25 which is $1 million in your portfolio. The result of step 2 is the amount of money you need to save for retirement in order to apply the 4% rule. So right now, you can look at your financial situation and make your own calculations on how to achieve that number. It could be by looking for a job that pays you a high wage or even starting a small business as your side hustle to increase your income. You really need to find your way to achieve that number if you want the 4% rule to work for you. Start saving now. If you are 20 years old, you can start saving and continue until you reach 40 or 50 years old. If you are 30 years old, you can do the same until you are 50 or 60 years old and so on. Okay, I won't worry with more theory. Let's suppose that you already have 25 times your annual expenses in your, your stocks and bonds account and you are ready to take off your suite for the rest of your life. Here's how your portfolio value would look over 10 years with an assumption of 3% inflation, 7% portfolio returns and of course 4% withdrawals. As you can see, your portfolio value keeps growing even after you withdraw money every year. This is because your portfolio returns are higher than your withdrawal rate and inflation rate. Of course, this is a simplified example, but it shows the power of the 4% rule and how it can help you achieve financial independence and freedom in retirement. Now let's imagine a scenario where the market or economy is doing badly. What would happen to your portfolio if the inflation rate was 8% and the portfolio return was minus 8% in the year 11, 12, and 13? Here's how your portfolio value and withdrawals would look like. As you can see from this table, your portfolio value dropped sharply in the year 11, 12, and 13 
due to the inflation rate being much higher than the portfolio return. By the end of the 13th year, you would have only about $857,000 left in your portfolio. This is a significant decrease from the previous scenario where we had about $1.29 million left in the year 10. In this case, you may run out of money sooner than expected. But please stay with me. Now let's be optimistic. What if the market and economy start to pick up again for a year 14 to 20 with 4% inflation, 7.5% in portfolio return? Here's how your portfolio value and withdrawals would look like over 20 years. As you can see from this table, your portfolio value will recover slightly in the year 14 to 20 due to the portfolio return being higher than the inflation rate. By the end of the 20th year, you would have about $950,000 left in your portfolio. This scenario shows that the 4% rule may not work well when the inflation rate is very high and the portfolio return is very low. The 4% rule may work better when the inflation rate is moderate and the portfolio return is positive. In this case, you may be able to preserve or even increase your spending power over time. The main idea is this. By subtracting 4 percentage points from 7%, we allocate the remaining 3% to combat inflation. This way, we can logically ensure that we will never run out of money, assuming everything goes according to plan, which may not happen. Therefore, 30 years is a reasonable time span. I know some of you are wondering if the 4% rule is still reliable in today's economic environment. The past decade has seen unprecedented events that have shaken the global economy and affected the financial markets. The Great Recession in 2008 and the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 caused massive recessions, with many countries experiencing lockdowns, business closures, and job losses. The global economy contracted by 5.2% in 2020 according to the World Bank. The pandemic had a lasting impact on the global economy and the financial market. One of the consequences was a spike in inflation in 2022. Inflation reached a 40-year high in the US with the CPI increasing by 9.1% in June 2022. In Germany, inflation hit a record high of 10%, its first double-digit increase since 1951. The Russian invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 caused oil prices to spike over $110 per barrel as Western countries imposed sanctions on Russia. The combination of high inflation and rising interest rates had a negative impact on the stock market, which saw increased volatility and lower returns in 2022. The major indexes experienced their worst year since 2008 when the S&P 500 finished 2022 down 20% and the tech-heavy Nasdaq tumbled 33%. The bond market also suffered losses as bond prices fell when interest rates rose. So what does all this mean for the 4% rule? Well, it means that the rule may not be as safe or sustainable as it used to be. The lower returns on stocks and bonds reduce the growth potential of your portfolio, meaning that you may run out of money sooner than expected. Therefore, if you are planning to retire soon or are already retired, you may want to reconsider using the 4% rule as your sole guide for spending. You may also want to use a dynamic withdrawal strategy, such as 3% or even 2%, 
have to account for higher inflation and lower returns. Of course, this would mean that you would have to cut some of your expenses. But if you don't want to run out of money, you really need to be flexible in uncertain times. You could also reduce your spending when the market is down and increase it when the market is up. But in the end, we will never actually know when these kinds of events will happen. The Great Depression and the tech bubble 2000 were almost 70 years apart. Well, from the tech bubble to the 2008 financial crisis was 8 years. Then we had 12 years before COVID-19 started to hit the world. So anything can happen. Remember, the theory and model that I gave you is mainly focused on stocks and bond returns. This encourage you to diversify your portfolio well by putting your eggs in different asset classes and regions. For example, you can invest in mutual funds, real estate, commodities, and even cryptocurrencies. This will help you reduce your exposure to market risk and benefit from different sources of income and growth. However, this will also require you to do more research and analysis on each asset class and region and be aware of their risk and returns. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos on finance. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.